today I will deliver you uh, two presentations. First of all, I'm Deniz Uzturk. Uh, I'm from Turkey, uh, Galatasaray University from Istanbul. I'm a PhD student in industrial engineering. So today my presentations will be about my PhD thesis, some part of my PhD thesis actually. The first one is the technology selection for smart agrarian systems. Uh, my presentation outline is I will give a brief introduction about the subject, then I will talk uh, about the, defining the smart agriculture, definition of the smart agriculture, then I will show, the, show our proposed methodology about the subject, and then after the methodology I will present you our case study on this subject, and I will uh, finish my presentation with the conclusion and the perspectives. So my main focus area in my PhD thesis with my supervisor is actually the digital transformation uh, that we're facing these days, actually. It has been started with the Industry 4.0, the fourth industrial revolution. And today we're seeing these digital transformation in every sector, actually. The agriculture is one of it. And with these elaborate digital technologies, we have now the ability to con control the whole system. We have the connectivity, we have able to monitor the whole system to able to get data or to create a flexible environment. And accordingly, we have end-to-end -end control of all over the uh, environments. So development technologies help us to obtain these elaborate digital technologies. So as I mentioned before, the agriculture is one of the area, also the digital transformation has been affected. Uh, with the augmenting demand of the food, with the augmenting population in the world, so we need more efficient agricultural systems to create more uh, service, to create more crops to the population actually. So uh, the transformation is actually a necessity for the next strategies. So to be able to adapt new uh, technologies to the existing traditional system, it can be some challenging and a complex situation because there are a lot of uh, criteria to be assessed. The technologies must be well analyzed. So accordingly in our uh, paper, we would like to focus on the developing, uh, actually the selecting and the assessment of smart precision agriculture technologies or the smart agrarian technologies. And we approached uh, it as a multi-criteria decision-making process, because as I mentioned before, there exist many conflicting and the beneficial criteria to be evaluated to better understand the technologies. So for that purpose in multi-criteria decision-making approach, we have used the analytical hierarchy process and the EDAS method, uh, which is a distance-based uh, selection method. And we have integrated uh, them uh, with the phosiologic integration to be able to better reflect the vagueness during the decision-making actually. So we're talking about smart agriculture or the precision agriculture. It's basically the combination of uh, elaborate digitalized technologies such as the IoT, the Internet of Things, RFID, the elaborate sensors, high-tech meters. They help to collect data from the field and they help us to control and see the actual situation of the agricultural feed actually. And accordingly, we have the power to control water, the pesticides, the security of the environment, and etc. So this all connection provides a peer-to-peer -peer digital collect, uh, connectivity, and that provides the flexibility, the agility, and also the resilience uh, for the future of the agrarian systems. So our proposed methodology has two parts. The first part, as I mentioned before, it's the fuzzy AHB process. The second part is the fuzzy EDAS process. In the first process, the main idea is to detect the criteria, maintain the decision-making group, and continue to wait with the analytical hierarchy process. And the second part is actually the assessment of the existing technologies and choosing the most appropriate one among the existing criteria. At this part, we wanted to use the EDAS method with the integration of the fuzzy logic. 
So as I mentioned before, uh, we have to generate a decision-making group. We choose to approach this assessment process as a group decision-making in order to provide an objective decision-making environment. Because with the group decision-making, we can collect the different opinions from different experts. So we can create diversity of views. Also, we can uh, create an a flexible environment for stakeholders, managers, and ITs from the companies. They can all collect ideas and decide together. So also we can uh, change the degree of involvement of each decision maker to be able to <clears throat> create an objective environment. So accordingly, we can create more information and consequently, we continue with the group decision making. So with our proposed methodology, we wanted to show the uh, actual, we wanted to test our proposed methodology with a case study. Or we wanted to apply a case study uh, to a small farm also to show that our proposed methodology could guide practitioners while uh, adapting new technologies to their companies. So it's a very strategic decision to take a traditional system to a new elaborated digital system. So it sh they should be well investigated, well decide uh, to have a successful future strategies. Accordingly, we have worked with a small farm in Turkey, which is close to Istanbul, which that means which is close to city. They mostly uh, produce organic and ecological food. And uh, they we all uh, see that the trend is going to more organic and ecological food, the population in uh, cities demand more this kind of food. So they wanted to project a future strategy. Uh, they wanted to uh, assess their alternatives for the precision agriculture technologies. And we have proposed our uh, framework to them actually. In the first step, we have they have defined their problem. They want they want to uh, sh they share their needs uh, to be able to create the assessment criteria. And accordingly, with the help of the literature review and also from the managers and the stakeholders of the company, we have detected two levels of criteria. As you can see here the cost management, system capacity, and the security are the main dimensions of the criteria. And each uh, dimension has uh, three or four sub-criteria, uh, which uh, enlarge, which goes deeper in the dimension. For example, for the cost, we have different types of cost management. Also, we have go deeper and user interface scalability and reporting. So according to these dimensions and sub-criteria, uh, we aim to assess the existing possible alternatives of technologies. But first, as I mentioned before, we have integrated this uh, methodology with the fuzzy logic. So to make the calculations with the fuzzy logic, first we need to introduce a linguistic scale to evaluate uh, for the criteria, also for the assessment of the alternatives. The first part is the weighting of the criteria. For that purpose, we have used the AHP, the analytical hierarchy process method. In this process, we provide linguistic scales as, a, as in the previous one to the decision makers. And we wanted to them to evaluate pair wisely each dimension, also the sub criteria. And accordingly, we obtain a weight of each dimension, each sub-criteria, and the overall weights for the assessment criteria, actually. In this step, we have worked with the managers of the ABC farm from Turkey. And this, actually, the weighting shows their needs, their demands for this technology. And afterward, when we continue with the second step, is the assessment of the existing alternatives. At this stage, first, we need to generate some possible alternatives. We have searched online and also we have worked with the IT experts and the smart agriculture experts. We have worked with three experts at this uh, assessment process. And accordingly, we have listed 15 different alternatives to the ABC farm. 
and we uh, they have eliminated their alternatives and accordingly we have continued with five different alternatives two of them was national and three of them was international companies that provide precision agriculture technology they are generally they are apps they provide cloud platforms you can uh, see the data and control the whole your control your field so accordingly for the assessment part we have suggest, we have provided linguistic sets to the experts in this part experts have been evaluated the criteria and the alternatives as you can see here as an example here i only uh, put the first decision makers assessment but we each decision maker provided an assessment matrix like this and we have aggregated it with an uh, uh, average aggregation operator and finally as a result we have obtained an appraisal score in the ADAS method we rank our possible alternatives with the appraisal score so the highest appraisal score is the first alternative with an with which is a national alternative Vodafone and we suggested that the first alternative is the most appropriate one for the ABC farm and in order to show the robustness of our proposed methodology, we also try to make a comparative analysis dif with different multi-criteria decision-making methods. We, the first one is the TOPSIS, the second one is the Viker. They are both distance-based methods like uh, in our case study. And we have, uh, made, we have applied the same procedure. And also in both cases, the first alternative also ranked as the first one. And the, when we check with the spearmint correlation, the correlation is positively high. And they, uh, we can assume that the, uh, our proposed methodology is robust. And the first alternative is the most suitable one for the company. So in our paper, we wanted to focus on the smart agriculture subject, and we wanted to create a decision-making model for a technology assessment and selection. In this model, we use the multi-criteria decision-making approach in order to create more flexible environment to the decision-makers and also to guide practitioners why, which, with using this uh, multi criteria decision method to adapt their traditional systems to the new digital era. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you have any questions, you can...